mean, I've got a lot of toys around here to play with, but this is going to be the little nifty meter that we're going to be testing this stuff with. It's called a, a uni, a uni T, U N I slash T, and the model number is a UT 673PV. Now, you, you buy one, you'll see it come in a package just like this right here. And this is what you get when you open it up. Let me bring this camera down just a little bit. Here we go. So, this is what we got. Pretty neat little package. You got a zipper on it. Open that zipper up. Voila, that's what you get on the inside of it. So you can get this to where you see it here. Now, you got some packaging material here. Pretty cool. Let's see if there's anything comes in this thing here. You got over to the side, you got some instructions and stuff like that in there. We'll also have a couple of tools to disconnect your solar panels and connect them. And now we get down to the good part. Meet of the show. There it is. Pretty nice little meter. Now these things are pretty foolproof. Got your MC4 connectors. Oh, approximately four foot of cable and they're color coded. So is the bottom of the, the meter. Black goes right there in black. And red goes right there on red. Now these things get their power from the solar panel, so it does not require any batteries. And from the way, way I'm looking at it, it's well constructed. Now it does have a little plastic piece over here that I'm not gonna take off. But next step we're gonna go out there and plug this into one of the solar panels. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try to uh, put this up, shoot the video all by myself and uh, show you a shot of this meter and what it's producing once we get these hooked up. Now keep in mind folks that I'm doing this all by myself so it's not going to be really easy. I have both solar panels oriented in the same position. And what you see here is I'm going to plug it, plug these in, just like you would do anything else. And then I'm going to let this thing start doing its job. It's going to go automatic. There we go. So let's get over here. Let me get the camera where you can see this a little bit better. Sorry about all this confusion, folks. But there's a lot of glare, and I'm trying to get this where you can read it. All right, now this thing is going to refresh every, uh, let's see. Refreshes about every 15 seconds, I believe, or something like that. So you see that they're putting out this solar panel here. It's putting out 185.6 watts, 5.1 amps. 36.5 volts, the VOC is 38.7, 6.4 amps, test completed is automatic. This thing will just keep switching over and over and over. As the sun changes, so will the amps coming out of the, or the watts coming out of the panel. So this is a pretty handy little gadget right here if you want to test solar panels. If you're buying some new or used, and uh, you want to make sure you get your dollars worth for every panel that you buy. Man, this is a must-have tool, the solar MPP, MP, MPPT meter. Now, we just got to the test of the Trina. Now we're going to go over here to the Jenko. Let me get this hooked up and see if we can get this up. Uh, like I said, they're pretty simple to hook up. You see four connectors, just clip them right in place. Get my tripod set up here. You can see these things. Yeah, I don't want to flip it around a little bit here. I think there's too much of the sun. Plus, I'm going to be shadowing the solar panel, and we don't want to do that. Hopefully, you can see that. Now, 
Press it auto. Okay, see now this is the Jinko. It's a 196.3 watts, 35.7 PMP volts, IMP 5.5 amps, 39.1 volts on VOC, ISC is 6.7, and the test just continues to, to flip and rotate. So if you take these panels that both of them close to 300 watts, they're putting out pretty close to 66% of what they're rated at. So in reality, these used panels that are five or six years old are well worth $60, $70, which is what I paid for them. So it would take a lot less time to recover your investment versus buying brand new panels. Now, if you're unsure how long your system you want to keep it up there, you may want to buy new ones. Or you may have to replace these uh, older panels a little quicker than you want a new set. But yeah, guys, this is Uni T UT673PV. I'll put a link down in the description below where you can buy one of these meters. Like I said, if you play with any solar, man, this is just pretty much a must have. Uh, I just wish I would have found this a long, long time ago. I would have been able to test these panels before I paid these guys when I bought them. And uh, probably would have been way better off because I do know that. Out of the 15 that I bought, I found two panels that were just about not even putting out 20%. So, no brainer. And this is a tool you must have if you're working on some of the panels. Post your comments and suggestions down below. Like I said, positive and negative. We are one man band. Uh, the more comments you post down below, the more it helps this little mom and pop channel, and the more information we can help uh, put out there and hopefully interest you and in getting hitting the thumbs up like subscribe button for us. See you in the next video. Now something else I want to check while we're putting this information out there to you is I want to check the surface temperature of these panels. And I got this little infrared DT 8360 thermometer. And you know, I use it on a lot of different things. It seems to be pretty accurate. So let's just kind of, let's just shoot the middle of this panel here, about halfway up, let's see what it gets. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's showing to be about 134 degrees there. And that's the middle, all the way up top to the bottom. Now we're gonna shoot the left hand corner. 137. Now I'm going to shoot the bottom right hand corner. Right there with the two. Get out. Make sure I don't get in the shadow. 135. I'm going to shoot the top right hand corner so you can see some hazing on the panel. 134. I'm going to get over here to this other panel. And uh, shoot the center of it, same distance, about going 16 inches away. 138. Bottom left hand corner. 138. And this is the trimmer. 140. Left hand corner top. Bottom right hand side. 132, and then we're going to run up here, bottom right hand side, 132. So there is some fluctuation. Camera shut off there. So there is some fluctuation in temperature across both of them, but they're all pretty close in the temperature range on an average. Just thought I'd share that information, which is it's kind of interesting to me. Uh, like I said, I've got them both sitting at the same angle. Let me get a shot of that so you know there's no funny business going on there. And the sun itself is basically directly up there. Not sure if you can see that or not, but it's hot. And there's very few clouds in the sky, so we've got some really good uh, sunlight picking these solar panels. Hey guys, I really hope you liked the video. Like I said, no, it's no professional video, but I'm gonna put you some more out there.
in the near future. And a little song here that we're going to be shooting some more videos on. we got some videos out there on it already. Got a bunch of old solar batteries and DC motors and you name it, all kinds of gadgets we're playing with over here. So we're going to be shooting some more videos. And we got the cat food up here from my old shop cat. But uh, yeah, stick around, like, subscribe, thumbs up.